Hello, it's now time for another Diva Glitz Lifestyle Vlog. on my face i really find this cream to be brilliant it's like it can be a base for makeup but i just use it as a cream i could buy another one because it's really nice and it really moisturizes your skin and gives it a nice glow so anyway i'm starting this video off doing my face because i'm going out the gym i've been very good going to the gym and consistent i'm very proud of myself because it's taken me years to get here and to be motivated in the gym i don't know how or why it's happening now but i'm seeing a big difference and this would be my fourth day that i'm going to the gym so very happy about it so let me just do these eyebrows because I've got to, got to practice my eyebrows again because I haven't been doing them very good and I was looking at makeup because I actually haven't been looking at no makeup looks that's why so I haven't I don't know the latest in the makeup world so I want to do another course makeup course because I was watching something yesterday on YouTube and I'm starting to get motivated again in this area and it's been a quite a long time Anyway, I'll see how I get on because I don't know. You learn a lot. You just end up learning something new about yourself when life is directing you somewhere. Don't resist it. Take that direction. Don't think you're supposed to be doing something else because life is trying to guide you somewhere nice. So bring me back to makeup again. Bring me back to my true love. So I'm gonna be trying out some looks again. Off camera that is. And see what I come up with. So the eyebrows will come up nice. So make sure you explore your talents. Anything that you enjoy, explore them. I've got quite a few talents that I like. Hobbies as well, hobby. But I'll show you as I go along. Because my environment is not really supporting my love of what I do. But I like photography as well. I like passion. So the house is not really supporting what I want to ch achieve but what came this morning funny enough I've just put vitamin C on my face it's I need to be grateful and that means I've got to be grateful for the house it's showing me I've got to be grateful for where I'm at in my house right now and just work I've been working from what I've got for a long time and life is still telling me the same thing but what is important what I'm seeing from this morning I've got to be grateful it's about gratitude so gratitude is more important than materials, skills it's just going to bring so much power to my life so that's what I'm going to be working on throughout this video gratitude so we're going to look at gratitude in this video as well as other things as well so the hair is 
is soaking wet. I need to do my hair. So, let me give myself some sides to begin with. And push it down. I was looking at some hairstyles as well, funny enough. Give myself some new hairstyles as well. But the thing is, I like wearing hats, so it's a bit difficult for me to have hairstyles because I don't drive, isn't it? So I can't actually go up with my hair up because I like to have my hair up and up do buns and what have you but because it's so cold I can't do that like and subscribe and share as well let people know about the diva bits lifestyle channel i need as much support as i can get just put some vaseline on the lips some perfume on to smell nice you know where is it that's good mm. that's nice smells nice this stuff um so oh the lid's dropped off we go downstairs so I need to go in the kitchen because I need to eat something. I've hoovered this morning. I've done very well. Very happy with myself. So I'm going to wear this jacket today. Seems like the flu's going around. I can't find this basil gut oh, anywhere. I wonder if it's in my bath. And it's a shame because I like this basil cut. And I need a green basil cup as well. I'm just going to have to get it, but not now. I won't be getting it for now. And um, I need to hang up these clothes. So I'm going to do that now. And then I need. I need, not need. I'm going to cut this one off because it's been sitting here for a bit and I don't want to go off. So I'm going to cut this up, eat this today. Eat a banana. My smoothie maker is this, but I'm missing a piece and I haven't got that to buy on that yet. So let me just make this
going to have this for tea this morning. Oh, I thought I had this. This is a new pack. So, I've made the drink up there. I thought it still waited a bit for ages for this drink. I'm just going to pull it out from here. And I will have... Right, let me get ready to go out. I think I'm going to leave my hair like this. It looks quite nice. And I need to um, write a list of everything I need today. Because my head is in not so much different places so much this week, which has been good. Because I've been writing things down. Time goes so fast, I'm telling you. So, i got to go and meet a friend today. So that's good. So let me just put on these trainers. Now, on this one, these trainers are cozy. I might start getting six and a half because it gives you more space. They're a little bit big, not that big, but it still gives you more space. And more comfort so I'm thinking I might start getting six and a half I hope I'm going to, oh, do you know what, I'm thinking if I should put a jumper over this because I might not be warm enough because I've just got these sleeves and the flu is going around. So, I don't want to catch the flu. You know, put this in. I'm gonna zip it up. I should be all right. As I put my hat on, but my hair is very wet. Let's just keep it like this. It's still showing underneath, but it's okay. Just got Puma leggings on because my other leggings are getting washed. Trainer, Puma trainers, the jacket with the hood. You can see it's not too bad. Looks all right. Yeah. Nice, simple look. You know? So, my swimming costume ripped yesterday. So, lucky I bought another swimming costume a long time ago. I'm not really into these leotard ones, but I'm going to have to wear it anyway. So, let me put that back. This towel is wet. 
I'll put this one on. Aeroplane, I can hear aeroplane in the sky. I need to take some things up this way because I don't use it all, but I don't think I need this bug today. Actually, I'm not going to take it with me today. Um, I'm not going to the coffee shop today because it's too late. I'm just going straight to the gym. So let me leave that there. I don't know if I should wear a scarf today. I don't think it's that cold out there. It doesn't look it anyway. So, anyway, I'm going to be seeing you soon. The eyebrows look good. And I'll see you soon. Hello, everyone. I've just been listening to some music and just trying to relax a little bit. I don't even know where my iPad is. I came in quite a while ago, but I just chose to listen to music. Went to the gym, which was nice. So now we're going to go and learn how to do some editing. I still got my coat on because it's a little bit chilly. And um, I'm trying to load up this package. So I'm at the computer now. I'm just learning a package at the moment. Editing. So it's Creative Cloud that I've got. And then I've got this summit showing me to do it on my iPad. So I've got it on my laptop and my iPad because I'm just learning this package. See what it's all about but also when i need to run through gratitude with you and what gratitude is all about as well so i'm in two different places today because gratitude keeps coming up you've got to be grateful it always have to bounce in my head because it's not look here the magic the magic it is by Rhonda Burns and Buddha Brian. So she, this book is a powerful book and it's going to help me understand what I have to do for myself to be more richer, should I say. It's what I'm looking for. Remember what you're looking for. So, you know, a lot of things come to my mind throughout the day when I'm outside. And um, I had an interesting day today. I'm too much thinking again. But it's about knowing your next steps. We all have to know our next steps. Okay, so this is what's come up for me. So let me look at the page. This is to do with gratitude. You'll see in a minute what I'm talking about. So this one four nine is that. Oh, no. Magic and miracles in health. So let me see what this is about. Miracles are not contrary to nature, but only contrary to what we know about nature. Right, so we should feel healthy, energised and full of happiness most of the time. Because that is how it is. Feels to have our birthright of full of health. The reality, however, is that a lot of people don't feel this way very often, if ever. Many people are dealing with illnesses, problems with the function of their body, or suffering from bouts of depression and other mental health problems which are all states of less than full health. Gratitude is one of the fastest way I know to magically begin experiencing the full state of health you are meant to have in your body, mind. All the miracles of healing we see happen are simply the result of full health being restored instantly in the human body. Where before there was less than full 
and perfect health. If you don't think gratitude creates miracles in your health and body, then read some of the thousands of miracle stories in the secret website www.thesecrettvstories so let's go there I think this is about health because I'm going to get um, testimonies as well okay because this will build up my faith as well for my health because I'm still looking for health to distress basically because I found out a lot about what I was going through it wasn't just food it was to do with the fact of stress and opening up we call it chakra and we also call it open up the heart and in Jesus terms it's healing the soul and healing the soul means getting rid of all triggers and all traumas inside of the body because of past um, information still not healed so someone might be talking about something like I wasn't brought up by my parents so anytime people talk about parents I feel um sad because i always want to be with my parents i wanted to be brought up by them but if i i've got to learn through therapy how to flip it around and just see it as happiness instead of seeing it as sadness so that's what healing the soul is basically seeing happiness okay and happiness will heal okay but you can't be traumatised, you can't be unhappy about anything in order to heal. You've got to learn how to be happy. So this is an example. Look it up. The Secret TV. She's got lots of testimonies on their books and whatever. And explore the site. Wanda Bryan's got a site. I've, this is the first time I've done the site. She's got books. But I've been led to the, the website today, which is good. And I've, I didn't even know there was a website. Okay. Because I know I've got to be thinking of gratitude now. So here, the time I truly started living. I'm, I'm a living example of how true the secret is. A year and a half ago, this is someone's testimony. I was diagnosed with alopecia, areta, areta, and an autotomati, auto immunity, sorry, disease that makes you lose your hair. And that's quite serious, that one. Things went from bad to worse. My self-esteem died. I had to cover up all my ball spots and my parents underwent a lot of emotional trauma along with me because it would affect the family as well. We spent money, like water, cried tears and more sadly, my family, which was already broken, became even worse. Every morning I had to rely on someone else to apply the medicine to my ball spots. As a girl going to college in this state, it killed me deeply. I had to hide my hair and slowly the um, spread onto my body too. That's deep. The conditions got so bad that I was thinking about suicide to this end. Oh, bless her. Then suddenly I came across the secret and it completely changed my life. Look at this. I understood that I deserved to be healthy and happy. I understood that all my childhood traumas and abuse had caused a autoimmunity. See, that's what I just told you about childhood traumas. I took a stand to give myself the love that I always gave others because I now understood that I deserve love too, which is so right. I learned to love and cherish myself and I moved away from or ignored negative people, which is so important as well. I created a prep place about place by belief i told myself that gratitude water and exercise kills all the cells that cause autoimmunity lo and behold a week later my hair stopped falling out yeah i was not getting any more ball spots a month later my hair was growing back three months later on my birthday my classmate complimented me saying I was the angel of the college and they asked me if I was now wearing a wig. They said that I looked like Rapunzel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, she said. Please, don't, please do not give up. You deserve love, beauty and happiness. Do not let trauma and negative people overtake you. Be grateful, be healthy because you deserve that and more. I'm so thankful for the secret and wonder. So that's one testimony and go on there yourself and see more. It'll build you up in faith for your health and to read her material she's god blessed believe you me she is god blessed so um she's wrote books you know thanks you know to finding out the truth basically so i'm grateful 
for this information myself and this will help me in my faith in my healing journey as well let me look at another one let me see which one did i just see yeah i just read this one let me see this one there's quite a few stories there there's loads of them i can see 13,053 so there's loads of testimonies here so all these people can't be telling lies I'm sure they know there's no way she could get all these people to speak you know of their healing basically it's about healing this is so this one I'm going to read I'm not reading no more look it up for yourself so it said I had an accident and twisted my back which in turn caused a medical condition called CRPS or chronic regional pain syndrome. I was in extreme pain so much so that I wanted to die. My blood pressure skyrocketed. I looked like a tomato and I was scared my mother and doctor who were expecting me to have a heart attack. I ended up with a beautiful medical dog and only hope that one day it would get better. In the meantime, I took a multitude of narcotics to try a curb. Some of the pain and continued to work. My social security disability did not pay enough and it never does to, to pay the bills let alone the rent i was mixing and taking a lot of pain meds i was written up two times at work i was written up two times at work because the pain would come out in my voice though i didn't notice my doctor finally took me out of work the worker comp is not good worker comp tried to force me back to work again against my doctor's report and orders. It did not matter how many doctors agreed with him, they were not willing to take care of me. My condition was permanent and spread and restricted my ability to walk, that's not good, and to use my hands. And then the chronic migraines ensued. I had 14 years of chronic uncontrollable pain. Cold weather especially seemed to be the ban of my existence. I had caretakers instead of children. One day I saw The Secret on Netflix. I began to watch every morning, every night for a month. I told myself, thank you for my healing. I began to look at things through new eyes, new hope and new awarenesses. Today, thanks to you and your program, I'm walking with no limb and I'm free of pain for the third winter. Plus I'm looking forward to a future I never thought I would have. Only one I had dreamt about. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I tried to share the secret with my boys and I'll keep trying until they understand. Thank you for saving my life. Had you not shared it with the world, I would, would still be burdened to my kids. That was something they should never have had to go through. I'm still working on myself, but I'm going to succeed. So that's another success story. And she was just watching the power. I mean, the, the actual... Um, big film on um, Netflix okay so read it for yourself and they read arts and beliefs I receive thank you for watching from think about what you want miracles happen the farewell gift manifest a job interview see it's all different things not just health I'm going to get the gift of time, manifest my husband here. Oh, I've got to read that one. Imagine that. Motor, got the prayer, manifest a job. So I'm going to go through it. It's online. Look at the, all the testimony. It's very good to look at testimonies because it builds up your faith. Real life people getting real results. Because sometimes when you're trying to get results for yourself and you don't have anyone around you, positive and everyone's talking dramas to you all the time, Go on her website and look at all the testimony. This is my ginger and lemon and honey drink. And you'll know that you're not alone in your manifestation and it will build up your faith. Okay? So when I come off, I'm gonna read I'm gonna read some more testimonies because it's nice to know that I'm not alone. And reading this material because I don't really meet people that are reading this material and people don't believe in it either so I've got no one to talk to about it so I'm just going to go on the web page and um, go through loads and loads of different testimonies today I'm going to do it. this is what I've been led to today so gratitude magical power increases the natural flow of health to the mind so this is gratitude this is what gratitude does 
mind and body and can assist the body in healing more quickly. As countless studies have shown, the magical power of gratitude also works hand in hand with good bodily care, nutrition, and any medical assistance you might have chosen to follow. When there is some kind of sickness or condition in your body, it's understandable that you may have negative feelings about it, like worry, frustration, or fear, but having negative feelings about sickness does not restore health. In fact, it has the opposite effect. It reduces health even more. To increase your health, you need to replace a negative feeling with good feeling, and gratitude is the easiest way to do it. So when you're in pain in your body, you gratitude will help, okay? It will release the, the negativity that may be around you. The book is very good. It's called The Magic. And take the time out to read it. And it's all about gratitude. If you can't really visualise, it can be difficult when you're not in the situation that you want to be in. So like I said... Um, get the website and read the testimonies and read as many testimonies especially when it comes to health because health is the hardest one to believe in because like you might be in pain and it can be very scary as well so if you can't do step three do step one and two because you will remember something in your past that's going to make you feel happy and um you will remember a time that you did feel well. And continuing, think about the health you are continuing to receive because you will remember the image of the past. So put a happy image in your head of the past. Like I remember I used to climb, climb trees and I remember I used to be big on exercising, like at school, running, and I got all those memories, walking a lot, you know, going to the park, going into nature, always very healthy, active, walking around, feeling good in my body all of the time. So I've got a lot of those memories in my head out, dancing, having a good time. So I've got a lot of those memories in my head. I've, I've, that's what's been coming up in my head, funny enough. And funny enough, I'm reading this book and it's telling me the same thing. So I haven't read this far. I've, I've read up to here in this book. So I've read up to page 34 and this is on page 152 so it's funny that was coming up in my head but you need comfort and what I know is it's confidence that I need in healing and I was hearing today so my mind was telling me what to do but because of my self-esteem and my confidence it's unsure is it doing it is something changing and obviously it is because I'm getting confirmation from this book. So your mind will let you and show you. And if you need more faith and more confidence, go on the website and listen and read the testimonies. And it will direct your path because these people, the results are happening for them and the results have happened for them. So it will give you that more of a confidence and belief that yes, it's going to happen for me. And yes... It does work if you don't have your own confidence because I've been working with this by myself and reading books and back and forth and I know if if I don't have confidence and belief in my own self and self-esteem I'm not going to get anywhere in what I want to achieve so I didn't I dance group system let me turn this off Bluetooth mode I didn't plan this okay. That's why I said my videos are authentic. I don't try and plan anything because I want I want you to see how everything just flows in my life and I just get directed because I'm focused on my health and I get directed to what I'm supposed to do. So I was directed and I, di I didn't know about this site. I just picked up this book. I was just sitting here. I didn't know what book I was supposed to pick up and I saw this book in my mind. I didn't even know where it was and I just so happened to reach out my hand and it was there, I pulled it out. And then I was led to the website and then I was read to read about my health. Because I need and it's saying I need to build up my confidence. So my mind was telling me what to do, but because of my self-esteem and my confidence, it's unsure, is it doing it? Is something changing? 
and obviously it is because I'm getting confirmation from this book. So your mind will let you and show you and if you need more faith and more confidence, go on the website and listen and read the testimonies and it will direct your path because these people, the results are happening for them and the results have happened for them. So it will give you that more of a confidence and belief that yes, it's going to happen for me and yes, it does work if you don't have your own confidence because I've been working with this by myself and reading books and back and forth and I know if, if I don't have confidence and belief in my own self and self-esteem, I'm not going to get anywhere in what I want to achieve. So I didn't... I dance group system. Let me turn this off. Bluetooth mode. I didn't plan this. Okay. That's why I said my videos are authentic. I don't try and plan anything because I want I want you to see how everything just flows in my life, and I just get directed because I'm focused on my health, and I get directed to what I'm supposed to do. So I was directed, and I did I didn't know about this site. I just picked up this book. I was just sitting here. I didn't know what book I was supposed to pick up, and I saw this book in my mind. I didn't even know where it was, and I just so happened to reach out my hand, and it was there, I pulled it out. And then I was led to the website, and then I was read to read about my health. Because I need, and it's saying I need to build up my confidence. So my mind was telling me what to do, but because of my self-esteem and my confidence, it's unsure, is it doing it, is something changing? And obviously it is because I'm getting confirmation from this book. So your mind will let you and show you. And if you need more faith and more confidence, go on the website and listen and read the testimonies. And it will direct your path because these people, the, the results are happening for them. And the results have happened for them. So it will give you that more of a confidence and belief that yes, it's going to happen for me. And yes, it does work if you don't have your own confidence because I've been working with this by myself and reading books and back and forth and I know if if I don't have confidence and belief in my own self and self-esteem I'm not going to get anywhere in what I want to achieve so I didn't I dance group system let me turn this off Bluetooth mode I didn't plan this okay. That's why I said my videos are authentic. I don't try and plan anything because I want I want you to see how everything just flows in my life. And I just get directed because I'm focused on my health and I get directed to what I'm supposed to do. So I was directed and I, did, I didn't know about this site. I just picked up this book. I was just sitting here. I didn't know what book I was supposed to pick up. And I saw this book in my mind. I didn't even know where it was, and I just so happened to reach out my hand, and it was there, I pulled it out. And then I was led to the website, and then I was read to read about my health. Because I need, and it's saying I need to build up my confidence more with my health, to believe in order for me to feel well in my chest, okay? So, um, magic and miracles in health. Let me put something there so I can keep this page and I want to read it again and I'll just put it back in my box and I'm going to read some more testimonies as well today. Hello everyone. Anyway, I'm just setting a bath for me to go to the bath. It is now another beautiful day. It is Saturday today. So I'm going to pamper myself today because I deserve it. And I haven't done it for some time. Either. So I'm going to start off by having a bath. Yes. And I'm going to wash my hair with my new shampoo that I've got. So this is Rosemary Mint Strengthen Shampoo infused with Lotin. I don't know what Lotin is. So I'll see how I get on with this because the hair needs washing. 
and I won't be showing me washing my hair. I'll just show you the results and give you a review on what I think of it as well. So I'll see you after my bath. So I got out the bath now. It was a nice bath and I'm going to get ready. So I used the shampoo and it's very good. The hair is very so I actually didn't put my conditioner in it. But to be honest, it's really nice and it leaves um, a moist feeling. So let me put my hair up so it's not in the way. I need to grease my body. And um, I want to give myself a tan as well, but that'll come. Tan shimmer, call it. I shouldn't even call it a tan. It just makes my body look glossy and more sun like summer look just brightens up my day when i do a um i call it a tan even though that's what it's called in it so gotta call it by its name anyway i'm using some e45 cream because my face has been a bit dry due to the winter months i've got to make sure skin is moist and I need to drink more water so I'm going to be doing that today and monitoring my water intake today because I need to drink about at least a litre. I'm supposed to have two litres but what I'm going to do is buy some water and use that litre bottle and then eventually buy myself a litre bottle water bottle. So I know how much I've been taking throughout the day. Because my lips keep getting dry. That means I'm not drinking enough. I'm also going to use this cream because I like it. I'm going to have to buy another one. It's so small. But I've had it for ages. But I don't use it on a regular basis. And I've been using it every day. I just use a little, a little bit. Because a little goes a long way if you can see it. And this is a very good moisturizer but i like the way it glosses my skin so i put that on later i'm going to be giving myself a facial but that'll be in the evening so you can join me for that pamper time so look this one is excellent you see the shine it gives the skin and it stays on all day i went to the gym yesterday and i was in the um, sauna and it still was on my skin afterwards. And I felt my skin and I was rubbing it. And this cream did not come off my skin. I think it's excellent, this one. I recommend it. I'm going to keep buying this. I will not live without it, I'm telling you. But the next cream that people have been using, I'm going to buy it and see what it's like. I can't remember the name of it, but I saw it in Boots. I'm going to buy it. So let me cream my skin and I'll be back to see what outfit I'm going to put on today. So I'm going to wear this all in one today. This, that, pants. So I'm going to put this on here. It's old, but I just feel like putting this on today. So this is the all in one. I really like it. It's cosy. It's comfortable. Just, I've just got pockets here. So I've had this about I've had it for a little bit and I've got a blue one as well I like it a lot and I like the way it's detailed at the bottom as well stack pants very nice I do like stack pants a lot so it's a bit long like it's better to wear them with heels if I went with trainers they um, drag on the floor which annoys me a lot I'm just going to be around the house today, so I do like this a lot. Very cosy. I feel I'm into all-in-ones lately. I've been thinking a lot about all-in-ones. It's just easier because top and bottoms, having to find tops and bottoms all the time is a pain. I've got some more all-in-ones in my basket over there, but they put a zip on the back and you have to undo the zip and... So I'm going to see how I work with that because when you need to go to the toilet, it's a bit difficult. You need to be with someone to unzip these things. So I'm going to buy some more all-in-ones where I don't have to 
struggle with a zip at the back and start buying some more because I just think like they are really um, convenient it's called self-concept and I understand what it's like self-love self-care people keep changing the words all of the time so I suppose everything's been put into categories in order for people to understand so I'm going to be looking at self-concept as well as gratitude so I did a bit of gratitude yesterday but again I'm in order for me to feel grateful and to feel more healthier within myself I have to have a good self-concept about myself so I'll briefly go over what a self-concept is and I will be looking into self-concept a lot more it's to do with self-love self-care I'm just, we need to break down all areas into boxes in order for people to understand so we'll start by loving ourselves in the mirror right now Right, I know you can't see me very well, but the whole point of me putting the phone this way is for you to see me in the mirror. So, you have to start off with looking at yourself in the eyes and run through every place in your body. So you say, I love my eyes, I love my nose, I love my lip, I love my cheeks, I love my chin, I love my teeth, I love my neck. I love my ears, I love my forehead, I love my hair. So you love, I love my breasts, I love my chest, I love my belly. And then rub yourself at the same time, give yourself massage at the same time. So I love my arms, I love my hands, I love my fingers. And just spend time loving yourself in the mirror, you know. If you're not used to doing it, it might take some time for you to get used to it, but just do it. I love my legs. My legs are beautiful. And look at yourself in the mirror and just pose. And I love my bum. I love my legs. I love my feet. I love everything about myself. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. Just tell yourself that. So do that every morning to yourself. It's very important that you look at yourself in the mirror. So now I'm having something to eat. I'm having melon. <gasps> what? My daughter just banged her head. I had to go and see her. She was crying. Bless her. Look at all the bed sheets behind me. I've got to sort them out. So anyway, I had a melon this morning. I cut it up yesterday, so I'm going to have it again today. Nice. And I've actually got the same herbal tea that I drank yesterday, Burdock. Burdock is alkaline, recommended. I want to get, I am getting into more recipes. I'm going to show you a little recipe later that I've got. Very easy to make as well. I'm, um... I've been looking up some vegan recipe, like simple style, and it's very, very helpful. If you're in a, in a rush to go to work or where or do business or whatever you do, these meals might take about 10 minutes, 15 minutes maximum. So... You don't always have to do the complex meals. But this tea is very nice. I got it from Hollett and Merritt. And I'm eating these Chi Chi. These are Jamaican. Styly. Nice. Very nice savoury snack. So I'm eating that. For this morning. Just something simple. Well it's not morning actually. It's afternoon. So morning. I'm going to go on TikTok because you can get ideas from TikTok for self-concept work. I'm just going to use the word that they're using. I call it self-care, self-love. But like I said, they have to put everything in boxes. So we have to understand different areas of self-love and self-care. So type in self-concept work. They've even got a self-concept worksheet and workbooks. Let me look at them. 
which is good. Worksheet to help with my self-concept turned into a 90-day guided journal. 90-day writing journal, a step-by-step guide to manifest in the life of you. Again, it's about manifesting your dreams. You know, being who you want to be. So I'm going to follow her because that's excellent that I found that. Um... Because the reason why I go on other sites, and I don't come from my site day, why are you copying other people? But I think it's good to support other people in this type of industry to spread the message further. Because I do believe it's important for everyone to love themselves. And also, I like learning from other people as well. And I also want to give assurance. If you don't believe in yourself already, the negative is going to still enforce inside of yourself. So stay away from anyone negative because they will just continuously keep saying that you're to blame and you're not to blame. They just don't know how to speak to you nicely because they're just so self-centered within themselves. Yeah, but they'll speak nicely to themselves, but they won't speak nicely to anybody else. Stay far away from them type of people. You should never subject yourself to being around anyone negative, telling you something that's not true about yourself. We are all beautiful human beings. We are beautiful and we are unique. And every single one of us is beautiful and unique. And it's such a shame that we have a society with hierarchies that have put us down. And told us something that is not true. All we're supposed to be hearing in this world. I know people are going to say no it's not true. Is how beautiful we are. That's all we're supposed to hear. So I would like to spread the message of self love self care. Any mentors that are trained to speak positively over people. Because that's all we should be hearing. How wonderful we really are. So self-concept work they're saying now, because I know it's been formed and made up through the law of attraction. Thank be to the law of attraction. It's not really understood fully yet. Okay. But you have to see yourself as beautiful. So there's some self-concept affirmations that we're going to do right now. Okay, peeps. This is men, well, for men and women. You can say, hey, you're a handsome woman, so she's beautiful, obviously. So anyway, there's a few here. I'm just going to go for it because there's this lady on Instagram that does this work. Florence, her name is. My presence has a magnet pull on everyone. My beauty is hypnotizing. I'm always loved unconditionally. I'm completely unforgettable. My presence is a blessing. People are naturally addicted to my energy. So say these type of affirmations every single day. Self-concept self affirmations for love. Unconditional love is the only language I speak. I surround, I'm surrounded by love everywhere I go. It's natural for people to fall in love with me. I operate at the frequency of love and light. My energy is too powerful to resist. The love I have for myself flows into others. You see? That's an important one. The love I have for myself flows into others. You see? So everyone's supposed to be loving. Because if they're not, we're not going to resonate. You know, we need to love each other. Another one is, my energy is magnetic, she swears as fuck. I never need to chase when ev I never need to chase when everyone is drawn to me. I'm pa too powerful to resist. Nothing compares to my energy. I'm a magnet to miracles. I'm always chosen. Everybody desires me because I'm exclusive. Everything I desire desires me. The, the universe favours me. I say God favours me. But you can say universe. It's good to say universe with that type of affirmation. So, um, you can even do self-worth affirmations as well. Regardless of my past, I'm worthy of loving myself deeply. I am magical and radiate a strong sense of self-acceptance. This is affirmation. This one's beautiful. I'm going to save this. I'm worthy of a deep, fulfilling love. We are worthy of love. I love the people. I'm I love the person I'm becoming. I love the person I'm becoming. I'm a unique expression of divine and cannot be replaced. 
because we are unique. I stand firm in value of myself. I allow new levels of love to enter into my mind, heart and spirit today. I fearlessly love myself today. I am proud of who I am. I choose to see myself in a positive divine light today. So that's nice. That's for self-love. So just look it up for yourself, you know, because it's worth you loving yourself. I mean, it's not easy every day when you're around other people that don't love themselves and they seem to think that, you know, they know you more than you know yourself. But you need to be strong. So, hi everyone. I've been resting, watching the films. I'm going to put the hair up. The hair feels lovely and soft. So, I'm going to do this. I'm making a bit mash up, but never mind. Let me put this up. This is done. So, I've got some rice. This is sushi rice. My daughter's ate most of it. I'm going to put this is salmon. I'm going to put this to heat up a bit. And I'm going to show you how I do the wraps. And she's ate most of the salmon as well. Which is fine. I've still got enough for the wraps. I'm going to put it in the microwave. One minute will be enough. My hands are in a mess. So, oh, that's going to drop. This is the wraps. Yeah, I've still got a few left. So, I'll show you how I make it. I'm going to put lettuce in it and some spinach as well this is some it's only a little bit left and I'm gonna just try and bring it down because it's dropping so these are the sheets there's quite a few in this pack so i'm gonna do two of them and these are so easy to make it's unbelievable and they're so tasty as well so I put that away. So I'm just going to take some little few leaves of lettuce off. I don't need much because the lettuce is actually not um, as fresh as it was before. So two leaves is enough. I'm going to throw the rest away because they're not fresher than fresh anymore. Got some, um, what do you call this again? Spinach. I always forget the name. Some spinach as well. So now I'm going to put the wraps together. You can put whatever you want on it, obviously. Everything goes. I'm just going to break it up or you can use a knife to chop it up. I just love these wraps, to be honest. That's enough. And then I'm going to do the same with the lettuce. Just break it because I don't. you don't need a lot of lettuce, you know need a little because the wraps are not very big so let me do it how you want it here and then I'm breaking up the sound you can hardly see I'm sorry it's so far away I'll bring you closer um I haven't got a big lens and then that and that and that and then I'm going to put some sauce on it Thai sweet chilli sauce tastes so nice I forgot about the rice because I'm filling it up too much I don't even know if this is going to wrap okay because there's too much in it and the rice is a bit too sticky but you have to get the sushi rice I haven't got the box to show you because 
I already made it. And the sushi rice is nice as well. I don't think it's going to wrap properly. Right, let me try. Oh, yeah. Put the chilli on. The chilli. Thai chilli sauce. It tastes so nice. With the chai chilli. So put that there. So now we're going to wrap this up. And it sticks by itself, which is good. So it just sticks. And then you've got a nice little seaweed wrap. Even though I've done it better before, these are too packed up. And it's not very neat. <laughs> It's not very neat either. So this is my attempt at making wraps and we call them sushi noir wraps. Roasted seaweed. You know you put what you want in it. But it tastes nice. We're made for fish, isn't it? So a plate here. on the plate and I'm going to eat it. So, it looks nice. Mmm, very nice. Hello everyone, it is a Sunday and I've had a lazy Sunday, which is good because you need to rest. I need to rest. I said you need to. I need to rest. So I'm going to go to the shop because I need to make something to eat. My daughter's got this idea which I'm into as well. So I'll be going to show you all about it because it's good. I'm going to put on my coat and I'm going out. Bless <coughs> me to get some fresh air also. I've got to try and find my black baseball cap. It's like disappeared into thin air. So now, let me just put the coat on, go down the road, I need to get some toilet roll as well, that has run out. It's like, I've got a house, I just constantly have to buy for the house, you know. But you've just got to be organised when you've got a house. So let me see if I can go and find this hat. Curls are getting in my face. But it's all good. And this down. <gasps> <gasps> the one part that I had has dropped. Part, part dropped down the stairs. I'm so unhappy because I only had one plant left. I had three plants. And for some reason, they just keep dropping on the floor and they're all ruined. <laughs> Time for a funeral. Another plant there. I've got that plant. Jade, it needs water in the plants. Please, can you water them? Found my hat, but it's looking a bit worse for wear. I better buy a new one. So, gonna put this hat on now. Let's put the. This one is a little bit hard because. It's a bit tight. They shouldn't. I know why they've done it because it needs to make the neck warm. But sometimes it feels like you like this. But it's a good. Um, it is a good um, length for the neck. It is meant to be because otherwise, if it was too long, it wouldn't make the neck warm. So I'm putting that on because I just don't want to feel the cold at all. Let me put my hat on as well. Let me try and do this. Oh. oh, my hat's on. So, I don't think you can see the outfit. The, the, these are long. I had this on yesterday. I didn't change them because I put on the same outfit today. But, um, they just, I don't know what to do. I have to pin them up. 
and put it at the back of my trainers because they drag on the floor these trousers so this is how I look sorry about my finger stack pants as trainers to prima buns and grey coat the light is really bright give me a new house man with bright lights baseball cap make sure you keep yourself warm in this weather if you live in a cold place and i should have got this mirror you'll probably be able to see better that's a bit better so there it is i need some dusters i went in the shop to find some dusters and they don't have no dusters in the shop can you believe it so this is the look i love this coat as well it's so warm beautiful right i'm going the hair's looking very full after i washed my hair very nice so i've got to take my gloves as well so i put them on now i need to get my purse and my bag So I'm just going to put, I've got this bag, I've got this from TK Maxx, lovely bag it is. I'm going to start buying more bags, I do like bags, I must admit. Um, I don't know, the make is, uh, they got all designer ones in that shop, but um, I can't see the label right now to tell you the make of it. But um, it's nice, is it on here? No. Nice bag, look. I like it a lot. I did buy myself another bag the other day. So I'm going to start buying more because bags are nice. So, just going to pin it round because it's got a nice strap. This is how it looks. You see? I had to take my glove off, put it back on again. Nice, cosy. Oh no, I can't take it off yet. Nice, cosy bag it is. So, if you're out and about, Get yourself a nice bag that is comfortable, you know, and say you can have peace of mind. And it's got a nice thick strap so it feels comfortable on the arm. So let me go now. My daughter's going to make um, a toilet roll. This, what's it called, Jay? This Dorito 
everything on TikTok. It looks really interesting, so I want to show you where she's done it. So I've got salad. I'm going to eat this today with what I'm making for myself. I'm making a pasta dish, so I'll show you it. And I'm going to be ending the video after. So I've got the Doritos here. These are hot ones. I've got some cheesy ones as well. Hot and cheesy. I've got this for dinner today. Guacamole. Nice. And my daughter wanted a tin corn. I forgot the bread. She asked me to buy bread and I forgot it. I knew I was going to forget something. So I got tin corn. For this, what? She doesn't know what it's called. Can you go online and see what it's called? I got her some pasta because she wants pasta as well. And I got my dasters. I'm going to hide these because people just like to use my stuff. And they don't know what it's for. So I'm going to put my dasters up here. So no one finds them. So now we've got the pasta. I'm going to use tomato paste and the tofu and cream. So I'm going to make something with these um, ingredients. Sweet chili as well. And a little bit of honey. I'm going to add to it. So I'm improvising, so I'm making it up as I go along. But I did watch a um, video. So um, I've got a fair idea of what I'm trying to put together. And I'm going to get some seasonings as well. I need to set up this cupboard band. I've got to take the time out. Kenya pepper is very good as well. Because I've been learning quick vegan recipes. Because, like I said, it takes too long to cook the really five star vegan dishes. If I could just put a lamp over that, but I won't get as much light in here. So let me start it in and not complain about this light again. So let me quickly do this dish. Right, I'm going to put this in here. This means this juice, this is an organic um, pasta. Very good pasta, whole meal pasta, it's whole meal. So it's just for me, so I'm not going to make too much. I'm probably going to have some left over for tomorrow. But I'll just leave it like that for now because I'm not cooking it yet. I want to cut up the tofu. Tofu is very nice, I must admit. And there's so much different ways you can... Sorry about the noise because my daughter's got the microwave on the background. There's so many different ways that you can flavour tofu. So let's see how it turns out because I don't eat tofu often, but when I do eat it, I do love it, love it. And it was helpful looking at the quick, oh my gosh, the water's coming up. It was helpful looking at the quick vegan recipes. So if you're struggling, which I have been, which I've shown you and told you about in my videos, um, transition into vegan, go and look at quick recipes because it will make you a lot more happier. Because I do believe I felt stressed in cooking it because it was too complex. So it wasn't enjoyable. But this way... Looking at quick recipes, the lady took about 10-15 minutes, even shorter times sometimes to prepare it, that is. And I'm more excited in cooking vegan style -y. Because I don't want to be stuck up in the kitchen for two, three hours. Do you? So anyway, I am now going to put this in the frying pan. So, what I'm going to use is coconut oil. So, coconut oil, pick up the few little bits and put that in there. It's a bit too hard. So, I'm going to let it warm up. If you're vegan, use coconut oil or some type of um, vegan oil. You can get um, grapeseed oil is a good one. So that goes in there. Keep it. I'm going to make it get very, very hot first. It's now time to put the tofu in here because this is very hot now. 
I'm just going to let the tofu get brown. Let's put it on a very high heat and leave that until it gets brown. Do you know what I need? Cornstarch. I'm going to make some um, paco, paco, it's paco, paco, it's good. I'm going to cut this up <coughs> small because I've got to put this in as well, a little bit of vegetables. I'll see if I've got any spring onion, but I love this, this is very nice. I'll just cut it up small. Very nice. So it's now getting brown, as you can see. So I'm going to start adding some seasoning. So this is, is this even got any in it? And it's in the cupboard. Oh, there is. There's only a little bit left. This is um, Tanya pepper. Very nice Tanya pepper is. Add in some stage. If I can get any out. Let me just take the lid off because the holes are too small. I'm going to add a lot of that. Ooh! I want some basil. I thought this was getting burnt, it's getting burnt as burning jade. Mm -hmm. And um, stage. Stage. I'm adding a generous amount as well. Putting the pasta on because it needs to go on now. I should have already used boiling hot water. I didn't use boiling hot water just because it's not good. So I've also got some vegan, I mean vegan cheese. So I'm going to be putting that on top of the pasta when it's cooked. I'm just waiting for the kettle to boil because I need to make the um, pasta boil because it won't come out nice if it's not boiled. So I'm debating what to do with the pacho. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but just bear with me, okay? I'll get there. And I feel I need to do it separately. I'm going to use this pot. I need new pots. You don't have white things and like it just runs out. I mean, it gets old, not runs out, it gets old too quickly. And it's a shame. Made this. I thought you were going to put it in a crisp packet. <coughs> what is it, Jay? What's it called? It's got nachos, mints. Where's my one? Huh? <coughs> Nacho, mints, guacamole. Sweet cream and cheese. Sweet cream and cheese. So, why don't you make me some? I am. Very clever. Isn't it? So, that's from TikTok. And we need to know the name of it, Jay, because that other people will go and find it. Mm -hmm. Now the pasta is got the boiling water and the fire is on. It's not a, a very high fire. I'm going to put the pacho in the pot with the um, coconut oil in there. Now I turn the fire down low and let that cook nicely. And that, now I found some spring onion, they're a bit dated, but I'm still going to use them. And I'm going to cut them up. And where is the knife? It's here. And I like spring onion. I'm going to put the spring onions with the tofu. Cut that all up nicely. garlic and ginger paste. Let's 
there back. Just give it more flavour, you know. That's all it needs is flavour. I'm going to put some, um, this is um, Caribbean sea moss gel in it just for health. that as well. That's for health benefits. Oh, let's look at Jade's finished put. Oh, that's so nice, Jade. Look at that. Can you look at the name of it, please? Oh, that looks so tasty. Nacho. nacho sweet corn, cheese, um, mm. mince, guacamole, mm. Doritos. And Doritos. Isn't that fantastic? And she's going to have that. Let me see. There. Well done, Jay. That is excellent. Where's mine? Yep. So I'm going to put this up in as well. This is Korma Spice Paste. It's a paste. This is very good. I like the paste style. So I'm going to use a teaspoon as well. Oh, no. I can't use it. It's gone off. Oh, no. I'm not using that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just tasted my daughter's nacho dish. It tastes lovely. So anyway, I'm still doing my dish. I'm going to make one in a minute because it tastes really nice. And I'll show you how she made it. We don't know the name of it. So this is still cooking. What am I doing now? Oh yeah, I was looking for a bug because I got distracted by my little gal. So now we've got this. And we put this. Shake it, and then I put this. This is um, cream. I'm just gonna go. I'm not gonna be able to use it all, which is a shame because it's gonna go to waste. If I had more people around me, then I'd use it all. This is organic British double cream, so this is good. Oh, so break that up and put that in there because. I haven't had cream for a long time and then I'm going to open this up. I'm trying to not make this video too long again. I'm not going to be able to do my pampering session again. I would definitely do it in the next video because I have to. I've said it in so many videos I'm going to do a pamper time and I haven't done it yet. It's not like for me to keep saying things, well the hair thing, the hair one I've not got round to that one yet. So anyway, I'm mixing up the um, tomato as well. Just give it a good stir. I've got so much mess around me as well. Let me just put some stuff away. This is the thing with cooking. It's always messy. So now... Putting this in here, mix it together nicely. And just mix it up. And then I'm going to put some um, sweet Thai chili on it as well. I'm doing this first so it's savour savourous in. But when I mean saviours in, I want it to taste or the taste to be infused in the um, um, tofu, two tofu. So my words are all getting mixed up today. So infuse all of the flavours that you want first in your dish so you can taste it. What you want to taste the most, put in first. I hope I'm making sense. And this is a very nice dish. I've made this one up myself. I just got a little bit of an idea off of um, YouTube. But this is really my own styley that I've made up myself today. I suppose it's all from what I've learned, I suppose. So it is good to practice. And then you can end up making your own style up. Let me taste that. So I'm going to use a little bit of um, cream and tomato. I'm not going to use it all because I don't want too much. And then I'm going to mix it up because 
I've got pasta here. You don't need too much. It's a shame because it's, it's going to go to waste. I don't like wasting food. And look, that's enough. So spoon it out and give yourself the desired amount. So that is done, really. And I'm really happy with it. Just wait for the pasta to be made ready. And it's a very blessed time because, to be honest, I didn't know that it was going to come out so nice. I'm so happy with it. I'm going to make this nacho dish quickly and show you. So, first of all, I'm only going to do a little bit because I'm going to not have my food that I cooked. I'll ha I won't have no, um, what do you call it? appetite for it so nachos these are cheesy ones i thought i said you've got to use the hot ones but i'm using cheesy ones so i'm putting some in there as i said i only want a little bit oh my gosh it's dropped all over put clip. get some clips you can store your things nice man some mint you can use vegan mints if you're a vegan this is not vegan mint so it's just a shame i'm not supposed to eat this but again i'm still not in that transition and my daughter tempts me and i do need to transition her into eating vegan again so just put all of, as much as you want in so that should do for me and then we've got a little bit of cheese she's giving me so I'll put that in as well. This is what she found on TikTok, the recipe. She always finds a good recipe because she's into cooking. Good. And some sweet corn as well. There's a little bit of water, sweet corn water in there. Put that in. You can put mayonnaise in it as well if you want. I think, did she put that in the microwave? I must ask her to melt the cheese. So, that as well. And then, I think she put it in the microwave. Yes, she did. So, let me open the microwave. And then put it in there. And then look, leave it in for one minute. So now it's cooked, I'm gonna turn it off. Let me taste one and see how it tastes. It tastes very nice. Very nice indeed. So I'm gonna give it a bit more canya because I do want more pepper. And I was gonna use black pepper. Let me taste one more. Mmm, it's come out very well. Very impressed with that. So, I have just taken this out of the microwave and the cheese is melting. Mmm, wow. I'm going to put this guacamole on. Got this from Tesco's. I put that on the top. And it's a good idea. Mix it up a bit, I think. And it tastes really nice, that's the thing. To be honest, I didn't think when she showed me, I thought, what's the big deal? I didn't think it was gonna be anything wonderful. Oh my gosh, and it tastes fantastic, to be honest. I'll put some more guacamole on because it runs out tomorrow. And that's that. So there you go. Mmm. So the pasta is still cooking. The pasta is done. So now I'm washing up. And then put that in there. Put that there. I'm going to put 
the pasta in here so I can store it. Put the lid on. Well, I'm not going to cover it because I need to cover it. I'm going to eat that later because I'm going to have something else. And this, I haven't got a pot for that. I haven't got a pot for it. So that's how it looks. It looks really nice. But I'm not going to eat it now. I'm just going to cover it up. And um, I'm going to end the video now because it's going to be too long, as you hear me say it all of the time. So let me cover up. store it away probably for tomorrow and eat it tomorrow because i'm gonna eat this right now I had to do more in this kitchen you know i had to make some drinks and everything so what i'm gonna have to do is come back and make some drink i want to make a beetroot drink and um honey and lemon and i broke my main glass as well so i gotta buy some more glasses so i'm gonna I've got salad here as well that I was supposed to put with this food as well. It went right out the window because my daughter's recipe overtook. So I will have this salad and I've got to be grateful that some simple recipes, and it's cheap and affordable as well, ended up being a blessing. And these are simple recipes that you can afford. We're looking at about £10 for it and it can last you a good two days if you don't if you don't eat fresh for even three days you know you can keep food up to three days at least and it's a cheap affordable meal you know go for it you know i know sometimes when you like buy salmon and things like that salmon i paid 10 pounds for my salmon but it lasts for like three days so it's worth it like sometimes I don't eat salmon or I'm going to get into tofu a lot more. I want to get out of eating fish as well. So um, look up easy vegan recipes. They're worth it. And looking at recipes always motivates you to cook. And it um, helps you with your taste buds if you don't feel like eating. It would just inspire you and lift up your spirits because it's lifted up my spirits quick easy vegan me menus and it's best to watch videos because the videos go inside your mindset and you end up generally just going out there and i just pieced together that menu by myself i didn't go buy um the recipes that i saw i got inspiration from the ideas and it's now given me the inspiration to go out and piece together what's in my cupboard as well and I just come up with that recipe I just need to work on the flavors oh yeah I was meant to put honey before I leave sorry let me show you I meant to put honey in it I'm just saying when I tasted it the flavor wasn't I needed more flavor and it was honey that I'm missing so let me just add the honey because honey always tastes nice with the dish add a little bit of sweetening and that's probably what was missing but yeah an inspiration an idea came and this is what i came up with so you know go and watch you know it's worth eating healthy don't try and be too complex that's where i went wrong i, I went to the um five star chefs mm -mm. that tastes much better yeah it was the honey i needed so be confident in your cooking because what we put in is what we get out so anyway i'm gonna go now remember to like and subscribe and share and let people know about the db glitz lifestyle video please love you all i grow you grow we all grow together you grow i grow we all grow together this is a community of love, peace, health, happiness, wealth, success, and everything good. Thank you all. See you in the next Diva Glick Lifestyle video.